Thank you for joining us once again on Aerobics All Star. Now, once again, you have energy because we've got a highlight workout plan for you today, which means bit of running, bit of jumping, bit of choreography. And for any instructors out there who watch the show, and I know a lot of you do, I hope you're really going to enjoy this workout. Begin with a march on the spot. <laughs> what a start to the show. Good one, Michelle. Now for something totally different, give me a clap on the fourth count. One, two, three, clap. My mic's just hanging out my sleeve. Excuse me for a moment. Do it four more times, clap. Three more times, do it two more. And one more. Now feet together and just squat down, squat down. Down and up, down and up. Keep it going. There's still four more. Four and three. Take the feet out wide and keep going. Eight and seven. Now your knees are out over your toes. Are they? I hope so. And gently go side to side. Right, left, right, left. Four more, four and three. Go back to the squat down. Now, down, up. You want to use some arms? Why not? Press them out in front. Now keep in mind, if you've just tuned into the show, you maybe haven't been exercising for a while, might be not a bad idea to go get your doctor's approval before you really commence quite a serious exercise program. So you're right doing some walking or something really light to begin, but when you start getting serious about it, go see the doctor. Eight more, seven. What movie is this song from? Lion King. Heidi got it right. Eight. Don't you think Michelle looks like Heidi? Say hi, Heidi. <laughs> and punch side to side. Who does Wendy look like? We reckon, no, no, no. We think Wendy looks like Jim Carrey's girlfriend. <laughs> Laura, oh, do you now? Four more. Take one arm, push it across, please. What about Effie? Who does Effie look like? Effie looks like Effie. And the beautiful Natalie looks like Natalie. And take one arm, reach up. Pardon? Claudia Schiffer. There you go. Not bad at all. We'll call you uh, Cindy. Cindy, what's her name? Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Do eight more. Seven. Come on, six. Speaking of who and what people look like, I went out recently. I'm 23 years old, mind you. Went out with my parents and I got asked for ID. I couldn't believe it. But who do you look like? That's what I was saying. I look 17 years old. I look like anyone who's young. You sound like babe. We're having a you discussion. Don't look like babe. Thank goodness. Everyone bring it into a step touch. Keep working out, but we can chat and work at the same time. We were discussing earlier if anyone here has seen the movie Babe, the Australian movie Babe. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, but they're saying that I sound like the pig. I sound like the pig in Babe. Take the arms out laterally. No. When he's saying, do the song. You know the song he sings in the middle of the movie? I'll do it later. I'll do it later. Hopefully everyone will forget and I won't have to do it. Everyone, just take the arms down, bicep, curl them up. Eight more, please. And seven. Keep it going. Body up tall. Gradually warming up. May I have four more? I'll just do it when you least expect it. And you'll have no idea what's going on. Four more. Keep the arms going. Bring the heel across, please. That's the way. Keep it up. Four to go, please. Go, Wendy. Pull the arms forward and back. Press heel. Heel. Four to go. I can hear Wendy singing. Now let the arms go to the side, to the left, to the right. Now just let them swing, swing. Excellent. Eight to go, everyone. Eight, seven, four more, please. Four and three. Go back to a step touch, bicep curl. This time, bring your heel up behind you. Heel to your bottom. And reach and pull the arms. Eight, seven, six. Come on, think about your posture. Body tall, nice controlled breathing. Do another eight, eight. Seven, six, five, and bring it back to a step touch. This time, take the arms away, bring the toe back, 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 back. Now don't slam the heel down, just the toe, press. Now you're pressing the arms back as well. Do you find we usually do things in front with the arms? This time, press them back. So you're using the muscles behind the body as well as the ones in front. Perfect. May I have eight more? Eight, seven, 
vertigo place. Now keep this movement, take away the step part and just tap, left toe, right toe. Good, body up tall. Keep it going, please. Take the arms away, keep the toe going back. How can we make this movement more energetic? We can. Get the arms right, press full. I nearly messed it up, actually. What am I saying, nearly messed it up? I did mess it up. Hey, I'll tell you what, don't ever feel bad if you mess up. Who cares? It's aerobics, it's not brain surgery. If you get it wrong, it doesn't matter. Eight more, please. And we can vouch for that, because we mess it up all the time. Do four more. Marching on the spot, deep breath in. Exhale, bring it down. Once again, deep breath in, lift up. Exhale down. Two more times, lift. Exhale down. One more time, you feeling good? Feeling warm, in a good mood? Give me a hippie, hippie shake. Hippie, hippie double. Single, single, double. Keep this movement. We're gonna be back in just a moment to continue with our high impact workout. So please don't go anywhere. See you soon. Marching on the spot, we're gonna get stuck right into it. No messing about, go one, two, three, clap on the fourth count. Go, one, two, three, and clap. No messing about it. You're gonna march forward and back. Something totally different, go. Take it back, please. Now, I'll tell you the good news. That's all the room you need, because that's all the travel that you're gonna do in this first segment. So as long as you've got enough room for four steps forward and four steps backwards, you're laughing. Now, on the clap, we're gonna add one knee. So on the clap, pick up your knee. On the clap, pick up your knee. Good, now I don't want you to jump just yet. If you can't keep it low, just for say the first minute or two, then we'll start jumping in just a moment. Now, kind of easy going three marches, one knee. What would you say if I asked you to do three marches and then three knees? We're gonna try this time. Three marches, stay here, three knees. Go back, now the three knees. I'm listening so carefully, just waiting for these guys. Are they getting the knees in the clutch? Yes, they are, go back. You want to start jumping now? You can. Take it back, please. Three knees, three claps. One more time. Let's go. Knee and clap. Take it backwards, please. Knee and clap. Now stay here. Give me a side toe tap. Now. Tap. Come on, Effie. Woo. Keep it going. Do four more. Make it a double tap on the right leg. Double tap left. Double tap right toe. Double tap left toe. Go back to a single tap. Single. Come on. Double tap. Double the other side, how big and strong are your arms? Single tap. Tell you what, Wendy does great big strong arms. Double tap. Ready? Single, single, double. Single, single, double tap right. Single, single, double tap left. Single, single, double tap right. Single, single, double tap left. Guys, you ready to march forward? Marching. Three knees up. Go backwards, please. Three knees up, we're gonna do that part again. Come on down. Knees up, Woo. go back, three knees up, now here's your side toe tap, single, single, here's a double tap, single, single, do the double again please, you got that once again, single, single, and a double, we're going to cut down on the repetitions in just a moment, double tap, we're about to march, let's go, three knees up, Woo. go back, three knees up, you ready to side tap, side tap, double tap, oh hey I saw that Wendy, single tap, Double tap out of the corner of my eye. Marching. You didn't see it. So she really did nothing wrong. Knees up. Side toe tap. Single, single, double. Double tap. Now, if you're happy with this, I don't want you to change a thing. Keep with it. Marching. Knees up. Take it back. Now, please keep going. Just watch the screen. On the side toe tap. Single space front. On the double. I do a half turn. Hi, guys. Marching forward. Three knees. Now, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. Like so, what? Doesn't matter. Side toe tap. You ready? Double tap and turn. Face the back. Single tap. Double tap and turn. You ready, guys? Oh! Three knees up. Come on, go back. Give it some energy. You can do it. Side toe tap here. Double tap and turn. Side tap. Double tap and turn. Come on, two more times. Go. March. Knees right up to your chest. Up to your chest. Knees up, side tap, Woo. double and turn, side, double and turn, you got it one more time, let's go, knees up, 
Michelle, we're all keeping an eye on you then. You did really well. Side toe tap here. Double tap and turn. Side tap. Double tap and turn. Heel jack, side. Right and left. Right, how strong can we make the arms? Pull them out. There's still eight more. Eight and seven. Six and five. Four, all I want is a single knee lift on the spot. Knee, right, left. Good, so it's just a little bounce to it. It's not a super big high jump. Just a little bounce, what we'd probably call medium impact. Not real high, not real low. Kind of floating somewhere in the middle. Can we please go back to the heel jack? Now, heel, heel. Now the knees up, single knee, pick it up. Four and three, heel jack. Woo. Ready? Single knee, four times from the top march. Knees up. Take it backward, please. Knees up. Side toe tap. Here we go. Double tap and turn. Single. Double tap and turn. Heel jack. Goes. Four and three. Knees up four times. Woo! Heel jack. Let's go. Four and three. Knees up four times. Can we do it one more time? I'll tell you what. Marching forward. We got the makeup artist doing it in the background. Go back. Knees up. Side toe tap. Double and turn. Now you can keep going, can't you? I know you can. From the heel jacks and the knees. We're going to keep going during the break and I'd like for you to do the same. Knees. Keep moving, please. We'll be back in just a moment. Woo! Knees. Ow! Woo! Aren't you having a great time? It's not over yet, you've still got one more segment of High Impact and listen to the music. Isn't it fast? Isn't that great? Go up to the volume, turn it up and have some fun. Right heel jack, ready, set, go now. Four and three. Now go back to the single knee. We're just going to work on this section for a while, if that's okay with you. Heel, four and three, two, single knee. We're going to make it a double knee lift on the right leg. Double knee. Other side. Now your right arm goes salute. Left arm, salute. Right arm.
knees. Side toe jab here. Woo. Double turn. Side. Double turn. Oh, where were we? Heels. Right about this point, you feel like you want one of those great big fans right in front of you that just blows cool air on you. Take a deep breath in, so if you've got one, come over here, bring it over here, share it with us. And gently push the hands up to the ceiling, curve the spine around. Now is the best time of the workout. You can just relax, listen to the music, the hard part's over, just think how well you've done. Just take the arm out to the right and lift it up. And then come all the way over. And just get a nice stretch down the side of the body, reaching as far over as you can with your hand. Like you've got a hold of an umbrella in a really windy day, let it pull you all the way up and across. And down. Slowly relax. Take the right left arm out. And lift up, right up to the ceiling. Then bend the knees a little bit and stretch over to the right hand side. Once again, grab the umbrella. Let it pull you across wherever you are. If it's a windy day, imagine that's what it's like in your room. Pull it all the way across. And lift up. And turn around, so face the right corner. Press your left heel really hard down into the ground. And use this as some imagery. You know how it's like when you pitch a tent and you really drive those pegs down into the ground? Pretend your heel is that peg and you've got to push it really hard down into the floor. And your body is the rest of the tent. So let your body lean away from that peg, which is your heel. You should get a great stretch through the top part of your calf, called your gastrocnemius. I <laughs> probably said it wrong. Gently drag your back heel in a little bit, and then this time bend it, and sit down into a bent leg calf stretch. You'll feel the stretch a little bit lower to the lower part of the calf, down towards the Achilles tendon, called the soleus muscle. And gently lift up, turn around, other direction. Straight leg calf stretch, press the heel down, drive your heel hard into the floor, Weight on the thigh, and gently lean forward. Hold the stretch there, please. You know if you've got more time after the show, we'd really encourage you to even stretch probably for a little bit longer if you can. So if you can recall any of the other stretches we've done on the show, ones that feel good, or if you get a tight muscle somewhere, remember what stretch stretches out that muscle group. Maybe even write it down so whenever you get that sore muscle, you know the stretch that's appropriate for it. Bring it in, bent leg stretch. When we do high, low and step, you can probably imagine that we use a lot of lower body, so hence we've got to do quite a bit of lower body stretching so that it compensates for all the impact and all the exercise that we've done. But if you've just got any general questions at all in regards to stretching, health, exercise, whatever it may be, please write in to us. The address will be appearing on your screen any moment, so quick, go get a pen, quick, quick, there it is. Aerobics Oz Style, Post Office Box 773, Willoughby, New South Wales, Australia, 2068. If you didn't catch it this time, make sure you tune in next time and you catch it next time. All I want you to do is to take your right arm out, stand on your right foot, grab the left heel, pull the knee back, bend the supporting leg just a little bit, now squeeze your bottom without falling over and press the hip forward and press your foot into your hand. You should get a lovely stretch <laughs> down the front of the quadricep muscle there. Once again, a lower body stretch. If you've got something to hang on to, it mightn't be a bad idea to actually grip something. Change sides. Step over. Now I'll tell you a little trick. If you look at something and don't take your eyes off it, guaranteed you won't fall over. I'm gonna look right down the barrel of the camera and hopefully I won't fall down. Just don't look at something that moves, like me. And 
then gently take it down. Take the feet out, right out wide. Take the hands on the inside of the knees and press your knees apart. Sit low into the stretch. You should get a nice stretch through the inner thigh. Hold it down there. Now, if you can get low enough, actually use your elbows to push your knees apart. Push them all the way out to the back of the room. Not a very glamorous stretch, I know, but you should get a really good feeling right through the inner thigh and the groin area. Hold it there. And transfer the weight over to the right and sit down into one side. Holding the stretch there, you're feeling more on one side than the other. And gently coming over, just transfer the weight on the other leg. Wasn't that a beautiful piece of music? That might be something you want to write into us. Tell us what music you like. That's a good idea. What music you like, write in, let us know, and we'll see if we can put some of that on the show. But thanks a lot for joining us, and I'm sure we'll see you again next time. Have a good day.